<laughs> hey there. Welcome to another Torch Review. I'm Lane. Oh, he said it. Casey and Kevin <laughs> over there. So I said it. Yes. I'm trying to be good. <laughs> Try well, Until you come up with like something else we can call it. Well, that's what the logo says. Yeah, see, exactly. It works. It does. All right, today, Old Forester versus Old Forester. We're not reviewing one. We're reviewing two. They're both single barrel barrel picks from different places. I thought it would be good for these guys to see the difference. So. Wait. A is Total Wine. B is Rayleigh's. Okay. Uh, I think you guys, I have a hunch you guys are going to like A more. I like B more. These are, these are the same... Though, right? They're old forest. Like, They're if you both, saw them in the store, they'd be the same same color bottle. Yes, but they have a different... So if you look at the bottles, there's a little store moniker on each one at the bottom. Okay. Like gold. So everything about it is the same. The proof numbers are different, obviously, because they're different barrels, so they're different proofs. Okay. Uh, but then it'll list, like, you know, Battleborn Spirits or, you know, Total Wine or... You shut it. <laughs> Listen, you. Battleborn. <laughs> Can't, I can't. I just a conversation for a different. You could have stayed away from that one. You were so good. You no, because there's a, a there's a, a mm -hmm. liquor store in Minden called Battleborn. I know there is. I go to it. And Minden Meat and Deli. Yep. Funny story. So one of them is really good friends with one distributor, and the other one is really good friends with another distributor. Oh. So Battleborn gets all of the good Buffalo Trace stuff. They're all a little marked up, right? Battleborn gets all the good Buffalo Trace stuff, and Minden Meat and Deli gets all of the good Brown Foreman stuff. Oh, that's, and, good. that's good to know. And all of the good Sazerac portfolio, because in Nevada, Sazerac is a slightly different, even though Sazerac and Buffalo Trace, same company, there's a Sazerac portfolio in Nevada and a Buffalo Trace portfolio. So oh. like uh, E.H. Taylor, 1792, uh, Thomas, whatever that is, with all the barrel finishes, those are all Sazerac portfolio. And then Buffalo Trace, strangely, is Baby Saz, uh, B-Tag, Pappy, Buffalo Trace. Um, Blanton's, a couple others that I'm forgetting. Oh, Elmer. I don't know. Rock Hill, probably. Right. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so you guys are probably going to bitch these are hot just because you are. Because they are. So. Well, well, Casey is. Yeah. So we're going to need tasting face on Casey. Casey hot. Face. How hot, though? Oh, not that uh, hot. 128 ish. 128? Yeah. Jesus. Furnace. That's I'm furnace. realizing that I poured one of these a little light. Yes. So one of these I get a lot more stone fruit, honey, traditional caramel, and the other one I get more cinnamon, sort of dark, like plums and figs. So these came from the same, like, is it the same batch and then they just put that batch in a barrel and the barrel is what's different or is it? Well, I don't know about the same batch. It could, it, they're not necessarily even the same batch. They're all, they're single barrels aging in the old Forester Rick house, right? Right. So then, like, company goes, we want to buy a, a barrel. Like, we want to pick a barrel and sell it as our place's single barrel from your place. And they go, okay. Uh, so you go in and they'll taste through, you know, some places it's three, some places it's six. I imagine for the larger companies, it's even bigger than that. It's probably like 12 to 15 barrels they'll taste through. And whoever their guy is, is going to pick one. And he's going to be like, that's our barrel, right? In some places, it's one person. In some places, it's like three people. Um, and then that whole barrel just becomes, so they'll get anywhere from on the really, really low end, 100 bottles. On the really, really high end, 220, 230 bottles. Most of the time, it's about 170-ish. How much does a barrel cost? Uh, like, I think when I was looking at a fray barrel it was twelve thousand oh, dollars holy oh. shit but that's already been aged for like you can buy barreled whiskey for cheaper than that before it's barrel like before they've done the aging stuff oh if you basically you're buying it as a future oh it, but when you're buying finished barrels obviously it goes up so wait if you and, buy a barrel that's not finished can you just take it home no you don't take it they they bottle it for you Oh. oh, no, no, or they age it for you. Oh, okay. I mean, you can, sometimes you can buy it and send it to somewhere else to be aged. So, like, a lot of places will source from, like, MGP, but then they'll take the whiskey to their rickhouse and age it there. And they'll do all their own blending and their own bottling. Mm. So they're, like, production operations, but they're not distilling operations. Oh, okay. Which is what a lot of them, like, a lot of people are sourcing from MGP or, like, Barton or whatever. Anyway. 
What do you think, Kevin? You put some work into these, I can see already. This one has more of the the spices note in it, A, is what I'm getting, and it... I'd say A smells a little bit stronger. B smells a little bit more mild to me. Not, not as so from, high proof. From what I tasted these before, on the palate, B is sharper. B is sharper? Yeah, you okay. taste the, the proof a little bit more in B than you do in A. But I would agree with you on the smell. A's also got a little bit of a floral note. Yeah. And I don't think B does. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. Yeah, like, like, there's like a bouquet smell from A. So this shows like the, the big differences you can have in single barrels of the same product. And these are available, I mean, 10 miles apart, right? Because they're both Nevada stores. Right. Right. Yeah. That's crazy. Do you get a vanilla in this one almost? Mm. An A? Yeah. Yeah, there's a vanilla note in A. Did you say there's supposed to be more cinnamon in B? I get more cinnamon in B. I, I, I noticed it on the nose. Yeah. Like the flour, there's, there's flour in A, and then B seems to have cinnamon. B to me, if dark was a flavor profile, B is just darker. Darker fruits darker bolder spices not as floral not as bright b i would say is more like molasses oh yeah a is more vanilla oh wow a has like the vanilla but it also has like a, a caramelness to it on oh. the palate yeah so this is what i think i thought you guys would like a more b definitely slaps harder oh on the yeah yeah yeah, yeah a was i was fine with a but b is it, see i really enjoy deceiving. the flavors on b i i do like to I like, because I like that cinnamon note. I don't necessarily care so much for the floral that you get in A, but I like that cinnamon. Yeah. It's just, you can definitely but taste A drinks the, easier. Yes. That, that B would, B is a little A's, bit. I would say A is more viscous. Yeah. Even though it's, I think it's slightly lower proof. Um, B is a little bit thinner, but the, I like the flavors are richer, even though it's a little bit thinner. Yeah. I see what you're saying about It's dark. got a better flavor punch, I think. Yeah, I see what you say when you say dark. Yeah. Yeah. Like, this A is like, oh, happy and shiny. It's like, hey, B is like, yes, we live under a bridge. There's, uh, on B, uh, it's almost like on right. the back of the palate, it's like a butteriness. I don't know if you've noticed on that. B? Yeah. On B? Yeah. B? Like, on the back of the palate. Like, after, yeah. It, yeah, after it tones down. Yeah, after, so. after it sits for a little while? Yeah. Like, A is a Marvel movie. And B is the new Batman. Batman. Right? Like the B's, old B is Batman. Detective Noir. Uh, it yeah. almost Batman. feel it almost feels black and white. Yes. It's very dark. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I like B a lot. I I, I like both. I, I mean well, listen, neither of them are bad. I yeah, I own both of them. Yeah, it's not it's not we don't drink bad shit on here. I just I like the the caramel tone note in A more. Okay. You guys want to grade these? That butteriness afterwards is on B is nice. I would say B's probably a little bit older than A. Although, I don't know how to justify that. Like, A is definitely more viscous. All right. Nose. You guys got grades? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. I might as well try this new. Yeah, all right. We got a scoring. Sure. Uh, mm. So, is it out of 20? Yes. What you're going for? Okay. Uh, hmm. Interesting. See, I like the notes on the nose I do more the finish on a. a little bit. I do the finish a little bit. I do. I do like. Uh, They're working really hard. We are. We are writing notes, trying to figure it out. God, that's a pretty. A has got a pretty good finish, actually. It really does. Out of, ooh, out of 50. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, pal listen, in, in whiskey, palate's where it's at, Oh, right? yeah, no, definitely taste. Yeah. Some people would score palate less, but the way that I designed this, I think, because most of the time, you're just drinking it. That's fair. And then viscosity. I think B's got a little bit of ginger in it, too. 
sugar ginger, not sushi ginger. Isn't that pickled ginger? No. It is. Yeah. You know, okay, I could, I could think I could, I think I pick that up. Yeah, so like, A finishes, like they're sweet in the finish all the way through for the most part. And B finishes mostly with spice, like with yeah. that cinnamon, that lingering cinnamon flavor and a little bit of wood. All right, I've got scores. Um, uh, how would I rate viscosity? There. Like, how does it feel? How's the mouth feel? Oh, okay. So when you're drinking wine, this is the easiest way to do it, right? This is what they tell you in wine. Okay. Is it nonfat, 2%, or whole milk? That's viscosity. Uh, okay. Do you not drink milk? No, I don't. Homogenized cow pus is not on my <laughs> palate. <laughs> I hate you sometimes. <laughs> I really do. It's a, it's a real thing. Mm. That movie, The Corporation, ruined milk for me, okay? Dude, you know there's, like, dairies in my family, right? Well, they, I didn't watch it on TV. I actually had to go. Yeah, see, Dude, I loved it. I, I, how could you drink milk now, too? I used to go get milk from uh, a farm down the way in I mean, uh, Virginia. Does you who count so as nice. milk? Then you just scrape the top off for cream if you wanted it for your coffee yeah. or not. It's great. Dude, my dad, who was actually a kid on a dairy, um, drank fresh milk. Like, warm. Oh, yeah. Like from, from the source. From the source? Yeah. From Not the... kidding. So, it's closer. For me, it's closer than I thought it would be. So, I gave A a 73 and I gave B a 76. I didn't think it would be that close. Uh, oh. Mine tied at 79. <laughs> Yeah? Really? Yeah, because wow. like the nose on A was a 17, so whereas the nose on B was a 16 for me. Palette got a 40 on A, 42 on B, 10 viscosity A, 9 viscosity B, and then 12 and 12 for the finish. I do really enjoy A also. They're just different. They're, for being the same product, they're so substantially different. Yeah, they're entirely different, and I still got the same total. Like there are parts, if this was a perfect whiskey... There are things I would take from A and things I would take from B. And blend them together to make something. In fact, I wonder, we're going to do this. Uh-oh. Mm -mm. On the spot, blending right here. Bam. I already right. finished mine. Oh, I still had a little bit left. I already have my scores, so I'm good. Should have done that. Just a little bit of that flower note left. It's a I mean, it needs time to settle. Right? It's going to be a little disjointed when you blend it like this. Yes. I don't know that that works together. Let's find out. Nope, don't do that. Oh, that's no good at all. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> oh, oh my God. How could, so, how, could two things, right there. how could two things that are so good individually be so bad together? Uh, because... Oh, that's no good at all. You can't... You can't <laughs> well, you two, can't be a Two blender. positives make a negative, my man. Oh, that's so. disastrously bad. <laughs> Holy hell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, which one didn't I blend? I need some of the non-blended <laughs> one to that's wash the one that down. Blend. Yeah. Is it? Oh my god! Don't do that. <laughs> 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 that's terrible. I just got the blend I, wrong. I am, I am so happy that that's on camera. Just, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. We usually get Casey's. Now we got yeah. yours. Now we've got one for the. <laughs> as, as a matter of fact, I want that to be the picture. That's going to be the thumbnail. I wasn't looking at yeah, For your shorts, just, oh, oh, God. I wasn't terrible. watching the monitor. I didn't just see like, it. Just like, decisions were made. <laughs> <laughs> Things bad happened. Day, day, we were all day. wrong. Red oh, alert. my God. Red alert. I mean, <laughs> all right, wait, what were your grades? Casey, I didn't get them. So he's uh, 79 on both. I, I got 73.76. I scored, uh, so A is at 72. Okay. Uh, and B is 78. Oh, you chose B. I like the, f I, the flavor on the palate does it for me. You're starting to taste through the proof. Yes. I'm a huge fan of this. Yes. So B is the winner. B is the winner. Now, I mean, there, listen, I wouldn't turn down either of those. No, I would I comfortably order either of those in a bar. Yeah, if, if you were like, had like some old Forester and the guy's like, well, I only have the Rayleigh's barrel pick, sir. You'd be like, ah, it's fine. Go ahead and pour that. That's good. Right? Yeah. Not that they would. No, but <laughs> seriously, like, and I think in different occasions, they would both be good. Yeah, they do kind of like, it's almost like, you know, one is kind of a summertime one. 
And one's kind of a wintertime one. Yeah, which also lends into, like, if you're making cocktails, right? One's going to make really good cocktails with some mixers, and the other's going to make really good cocktails with different mixers. Ah, okay. So, like, one might make a really good old-fashioned. Right. The other one might be really good with ginger or something. Who knows, right? But such different flavor profiles, you can make different stuff out of them. Oh, that's a good point. All right. Any last words? Kevin? Mm, not off the top of my head right now. He's drawing art. No, oh, actually, I'm, I'm totaling our, our, our o- overall. Okay. Doodling. So A got a 74.6. And that's... Uh, B got a 77 something. 77... Point six, oh, repeating. Math foo is strong with you. <laughs> I can I do know. it in my head. I math just... foo. <laughs> Show me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! On the last review, wait. You yes picked mahogany. Mahogany. And you missed the Anchorman quote, and I was extremely disappointed. Which one? That <laughs> I'm very important. My apartment has. Many leather-bound books and smells of rich mahogany. <laughs> see, oh. <laughs> see, see I, when you said that, I just thought of that little that kid, and, and he writes that letter to his teacher, and he's like, "That is mahogany." <laughs> <laughs> see, and I went to Dragon Ball a bridge because they talk Stop about a it. desk. Stop it! Listen, I'm just allowed knock to knock it off. You can be disappointed. That's Let's like see that, that face. That's like that blended whiskey I just made. Yeah, <laughs> nothing's going to beat that face Wait, now. It doesn't Dr- make Dr- sense. Drink it again to get that face. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. <laughs> we're not doing that. All right. Maybe it's good a second time. You didn't give it a chance. Lies. <laughs> Maybe it needs to say, I don't think so. I don't think that's getting better. <laughs> no? Just a hunch. No. And I like both those whiskeys a lot. Fair enough. All right. He's Cassie. He's Casey. He's Kevin. I'm Lane. This is another Torch Review. Yay.